Letters Alive. This is our ELA Supplemental Curriculum Kit. It incorporates many learning modalities using our 3D zoo animals to teach the skills and concepts for early literacy. So here are some of our flashcards. So what I'm going to do is take you through a little demo here and show you what they do. So first of all, I'm going to introduce you to Sergio Seal and each one of these letters um, is associated with an animal, like I said, and they, each animal has a name. So this is Sergio, and I'll introduce you to him. So I simply put the card under the camera like this, and there's Sergio. Hey, Sergio. <clears throat> Sergio, hey, can you do a flip for all of us watching? There's the camera. And there he goes. Yay. We like to do this with the kids <laughs> and ask Sergio to do a flip for them, and he will do it every 10 seconds although they may not know that and they think the animals are alive. Let me show you Amos Alligator here. And <clears throat> what I'm gonna show you here is the different angles of the card. So notice now we're learning about an alligator. I can show his underbelly, look how slick that is, and his scales, and show your teeth, Amos. Mm -hmm. See the teeth of the animal. So every card will have an animal and we can show the different dimensions of each animal. Now I picked A also because A has two sounds. So notice here there's buttons on the bottom. We have change to letter mode. Here are the animal sound. Alligator. I mean, yeah, animal His name, name, sorry. Yep. And you He's see an the name, you hear the name, and then you have a visual representation of the animal. Here's the animal sound. And note that every animal that we have, it's the real sound. It's not a synthesized sound, it's the sound that particular animal makes. And we coordinate that with animals make a sound just like letters make a sound. So let me go to letter mode. And this is uppercase and lowercase and I can toggle back and forth. Here you'll see the letter A and you'll see it in three dimensions as I move the card around, which is really helpful for some children. The letter name. A. And here we show the short and the long vowel sound. So here's the short. A and the long. A. Now, based on what you're teaching, some of you may not teach both at the same time, and if not, we are just exposing them to both sounds, and I'll show you why. Shh. Here we have the character name. Amos. Alligator. And notice here we have the two A's, but we have the long A and the short A. Amos. Alligator. Pretty right, cool. so even when the kids are calling the animals by their name, they'll be utilizing both sounds. So every vowel and every consonant that has two sounds, the name will utilize both. Whoa, hi there. <laughs> so if I put this video card down anywhere on the mat, you're gonna see a video of that animal in their natural habitat. And I'll put it up a little high right here so I can bring it full screen. It's like bringing the zoo into your classroom. Mm -hmm. And there's the bear. Or what if I put a giraffe down? Here's a video of giraffes in the savanna. And notice in the upper left, we'll tell the name of the animal. Here's a zebra, and this is cute too because of the little baby. And you know how children love little babies. So you have a baby zebra as well. I'm gonna build the word, or the children can build the word, which is very fun for them, the word cat. And now they push them together cat. and it blends the word cat. And of course there you can do cat, bat, mat, sat, etc. You can change these all to uppercase if you'd like. You can hear it spelled to you. C A T. Or hear it again. A T. And they build it together. So let me take these off. Say I have the at. A -t. And what I'm going to take now is some of our blends, rhymes, and diagraphs. Now this comes with a whole stack, like this, this big, of blends, rhymes, and diagraphs. There's a lot of them. So the kids can build up to, especially for kindergarten, maybe first, they can build up to 900 words using these. So, All right, now we're gonna build a sentence. And what we're using is the 97 Dolch sight word cards, the pre-K and kindergarten. 
So here I'll start with the. The. Now notice here it's a lowercase t. And as soon as I start building the sentence, watch what happens to the lowercase t. What? There it is, capital T. Capitalization. And we tell the children this too, and there it's an element of surprise. Oh yeah, it turned to a capital. What's that doing? Reinforcing to them that the capitals are the ones that start the sentences. Can. And we're going to put the frog can jump. jump. Now notice here he's jumping, so comprehension's built into the sentence. And we or the children can touch this button. The frog can jump. Period. And I manually touch the period. So every time they're hearing a sentence, they're also going to hear punctuation. Now here, um, these buttons, for those of you do, that do have interactive whiteboards, the kids can come up and touch any one of these buttons. They can also touch anything up here. The frog can jump. Period. So we could also ask a predictive question. Do you think frogs can fly? That way we're yeah. getting everyone involved. <laughs> Okay, let's see, let's see what happens. Fly. Can you fly, Frankie? What? No. Are you sure? Frogs oh, can't please. fly. No, so that <laughs> animal will shake their head. Now, every animal, A through Z, will either shake their head yes or no based on the science here. The frog can fly. No, frogs don't fly. That's science. Okay, so here's swim. Swim. And again, he's swimming. You can bring these animals up close. They can see different dimensions of that animal while they're swimming. Eat. What are you eating? I'm gonna push it's it It's a bug. And I can even feed this animal. Or you can have the children put their hand under here and feed the animals, which is really mm -hmm. fun. They'll love it. They've just had a science lesson. Frogs swim and they jump. They eat insects. He was just eating a roach, but yes, they eat roaches and insects. And they don't fly. A science lesson. So say for kindergarten, you're teaching about polar bears today, mm. or if it's for pre-K, you're just having them learn their color words. That bear is white. White. Mm. And notice now he changes to white. Looks like a polar bear. Mm -hmm. So any color mm. that I put down or when I call the children up, red. that animal is going to change Black. into that specific Green. color. And any animal you put there, when you put the color card down, that animal will change to Big. that color. And here's big, and here's little. little, and we have little bear cubs.